either stand it or fall it. But in other words, a man that's in who the world ignorant called Jesus Christ, walking to the best of his ability according to this word, he on point just like our elder to heart. I, I can't I can't judge that man because he's on point. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't judge this man. He can't judge judge me. But if if, if I go off, it's, yeah. he's yeah. obligated yeah. to correct to tell wrong. me, yeah. Right. Hey brother, you going to fuck yeah. off. You breaking yeah. the law. You know? Yeah. But that, that's that's what it's saying. A, a man, just one more time, brother. Hey, and I say something. The, the Most High is raising us up to be judges of the whole world. Right. So by saying, making that statement, we're not supposed to judge. That's that's one of these ideals pushed up by the world. Christianity. Y'all, only God can judge me. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah and, and basically it's an excuse to be wicked and do what you want. Yep. Right. Because don't that's nobody want to be held accountable to the, right. the words of this book. So they say shit like that. We got it in the Bible. It's called a book. You got the book of judges. That's judges. And you always had judges in Israel. That's you had right. to go before the courts, and then the judges would judge you according to the law. King Solomon. King Amen. Solomon had to do judgment, so there's nothing wrong with judging righteous judgment. Righteous what did judgment. the prophets, righteous. the disciples, the judges, what did all, what did all, uh, the apostles, what was they all doing? What was they all telling the people that made the people hate them so much? Come and get life. He no, he, he was telling them, them that he was bringing judgment upon them. They was, he was telling them, you're going against the words of the Heavenly Father and you're going to be destroyed right. if you he don't get right. He wasn't bringing the judgment. He was saying the Most High going to judge you. Come. Yeah, how about so, yeah we're not saying that the judgment is going to ultimately it's gonna come from the Most High. However it's executed, ultimately it comes from the Most High. Right. Yeah, bring yeah. it out there. I'm going to get that Roman 14. Just 15? Yeah, you just uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. See, off the bat, it said he that is spiritual. So who is spiritual? Him that is in the word, walking and in, in basically doing what this word says. So you doing what this word says, who, who gonna judge you? Go ahead, brother. Yet he himself is judged of no man. He who is spiritual. So with that, bring out that Romans 14. The Lord walked perfect, man. He was the only man to walk, that kept the law perfect. Right. And what did they have to do? They had to lie on him. They had to bring him up on false okay. charges. Yeah, That's what they did. But they didn't judge right. him righteously. Right. It was all trumped up. Along with uh, uh, a lot of the other, uh, the other uh, prophets and stuff that was stoned and put to death, the people came up and lied on them. They didn't judge them according to the law. But then, also... Right, but hold on, let me nah, get this scripture out. Talk, hold on, hold on. I'm talking about the word. It right, say, but hold no, up, man, no, we running this. No, some telling me to say this. What about when the, uh, what, what about, who, who, who was judging the uh, woman that was a adulterer? Well, she was like a adulterer, and she was like a, hang on, for lack of a better word, hoe. You know what I mean? No, she Everybody know what she a whore is. No, no, she was, she, she committed wasn't? adulterer. She wasn't? Who you talking he about? talking about? Who was the people that uh, the Pharisees? Mary, Mary. That was the Pharisees Mary. that came at her? That one of the disciples? Right. No, that we was the wicked scribes, scribes and Pharisees. Pharisees. They said yeah. they said this woman committed adultery, stoned her to death. And then she 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 uh the Lord started writing in the sand. Yeah. It don't say what he wrote in the in the in the dirt. Yeah. But uh then after he did that, he said which one he said whoever sinned at night cast the first stone. And yeah. then nobody could cast a stone because they all had right. committed sin. That's he right. basically like you said called them earlier. hypocrites. Hmm. He said so, basically, if if she get put to death, then y'all need to get put to death too because we all really committed sins right. worthy of death. Come on. Right. I'm pretty. A lot of them uh, scribes and Pharisees was committing adultery. Wicked scribes and Pharisees. Mm -hmm. They were sleeping with men's wives, devouring widow. Well. That's lawful, but they wasn't supposed to be taking advantage of a widow, but they was going off. Now, I'm pretty sure they was committing sins where they're dead. Right. So he said, who that, who that sin and not cast the first stone? Right. Well, go ahead, right? No, what was the point in bringing it up? I don't know, someone just told me to say it. 
Hey man, look, we, we, we running this format, man. You got to just listen. Nah, I understand, I understand that. We going, we going. It's a labor love, man. We out here for for brothers like. But you. I have questions, yeah. But you got it. And this is but you ain't even, yeah, you ain't even letting us get through the through the scriptures to point. show you yes. what you asking. You know, we still going got questions you asked a long time ago that yeah, about the yeah, new covenant. Yeah. Right. You got a zeal but not, not according to knowledge. And if you let, let the go. scriptures come out, be patient and let these brothers get through the scriptures. But every time I hear something like Of course, but you gotta be patient. I hear like I hear like Because you fight hold on, let's go fight. Let's go into that, like I was bringing up in Romans 14. It's Romans 14. To go with that. Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubt for dispensations. For one believes that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For the Most High hath received him. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or followeth. Yea, he shall be holding up, for the Most High is able to make him stand. So that's the point I wanted. We are all servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. So it's, it's only to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that we stand or we fall. Right. You know, so that's going into, you know, that's really a, a, a deep scripture because it goes into, like, say, a brother one, just like. Okay, right now the elders dealing with this new moon and stuff and they trying to say, you got other people saying that that's lunatic to go set, that the new moons is set, yeah. or the Sabbaths are set by the new moons and that the elders are going off. When really they on point, but yeah. as you can't judge a man. It says in the scriptures you can't judge a man according to holy days and new moons like like that. So, to so how will buy show me how was shot, we're going to stand up all. You can't sit there and say a man going out because he want to get into the new moon and the Sabbath and study that, you know? Yeah. It's, just, it's just things like that that that's talking about. Yeah. But right, if you go into homosexual ideology and, and, and yeah, then that's going off. But like, you know, one, one brother might want to go into, uh, get, get deep off into Roman history. You, you can't say, man, but that's in the past. We need to be concerned with prophecy. You're going off. You can't say that. If that's the only man's spirit to get deep in the history on the Romans or the Greeks or whatever. That, so you how about show me how a shy you stand up for? If a, if a brother want to get into Illuminati, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So that's what it's saying. One, one man eating herbs, that's the simpler truths. And another man eat it meats. That's them deep, profound truths. You know, that's that's if the most high put that on their spirit, that's you can't judge that man. Like, like David. That. Then David like slay like But hold up, we're gonna go into that new covenant. Oh yeah. And then we we gonna, you know. This is Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them. Go up said, some brother to uh six. This, this is Hebrews 8 and 6. But now that he have attained a more excellent ministry. By how so much? Are, well, let me ask yeah. you this, man. What, are, what, what, what are you trying to say about the New Testament or the, or the New Covenant? What are, you say that what you trying a lot to of say? false prophets, uh, this one just coming to my I'm not talking about nobody, but he said that a lot of new false prophets that's going to come in, don't don't go to, I'm just paraphrasing, don't go to everybody and believe them because it's yeah, a lot of false say, prophets. So the if they spirit, say, Lord, by no, the spirit. God is coming. Don't listen to them, cause only God know when He's coming. No man. Knows. No, it said test so, the spirit. He said by test the spirit. spirit by right. the spirit. Yeah. You test the spirit. By the spirit, right? How do you do this? If you hear, if you hear the word, if you how do you hear? Something say come. How do you hear? It's, it's just like something. You got to listen. Gotta, you got to listen to hear. You test the spirit by listening. You know a false prophet if you listen long enough. Right. At first, it might be all good. Yeah, this, this brother on point. point. He on yeah. point, but. Keep listening, and you gonna hear something that's that's off, and you be like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. But you know, you listen to us, you ain't gonna never come to that. Wait a minute, and I mean, you might, but that could just be the demon on you. But we giving you the truth, you know. But you test the spirit by listening. Go ahead, brother. This is Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. 
Right, because you can't, you, you know, you keep asking all these questions, it's hard to test the spirits because, you know, you're doing most of the talking, you know? So we, we, we sitting up here, we, we discerning your spirit, you know? We, that you, you, you're impatient. Like you fighting against, you just fighting against it, but what it all, you, you fighting against the truth. No. But what it all, what it all boils oh, down oh. to is, I don't want to which apply, it applies to us, it applies to you, it applies to Everybody. all, no, it applies to all Israel. Forget the other nations because they not under these covenants. The Most High, they, 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 they destiny is when the kingdom of heaven is here, they going into slavery. They going to be tributaries and not only tributaries, but they going to get, they going to get their backs beaten all that to even out the, 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 the balance sheet. But when his restore the earth and build up our kingdom, they gonna build the same way we did. We had went into slavery. We had to build up these, the White House. That was the, the main headquarter building. They had to come back. To Listen to the, but uh, concerning these Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, what it boiled down to is if you were chosen from the head by the Heavenly Father before the earth was created or not to be delivered in these last days. We don't. We ain't even up here saying that we know we gonna make it. gonna make it. But that's why we out here doing what we doing right. to make so our call. You got that faith right. that God is working with you, right? Exactly. Right. 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 But check this out. Let me ask you this: If if you knew you was gonna be delivered, right? If God just said, "Do this, that, and the third, basically, like they say, and I'm gonna just use the uh, the Christian church for an example. Accept Jesus in your life, love everybody, and I'm gonna do, I'm just using that as an as an example. And now you now you now you saved because it's all the Christians believe since they in the church and they believe in Jesus Christ that they saved. Then what's gonna make you change? Then what's gonna make you change from being wicked? You are gonna be comfortable like I'm saved, so I can go out and commit adultery. I'm already saved, so I can go commit adultery. I can go steal. I can go commit murder, and you still be saved. But we ain't. Is that love though? To steal? But when that's steal, not the you point. You're not. See, you. No, no they answered they they answer that deep. question. It love goes. is the keeping of the commandments. So if it's breaking the commandment, how can it be love? That's, I'm trying yeah, to tell you the love. only one that's going to be Whoa. delivered is the elect of, you, of the so called Negroes, like Latinos, and Native Americans. It's like, man. No, what I was asking with the new covenant, are you trying to say this, this for anybody? But yeah. we're just reading, man. We're just reading. <laughs> the, the, the new covenant is still for Israel. It's Hebrews 8 and 6. But now you have he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is a mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For the first for, for if that first covenant had been followed, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Most High, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So, of Israel. Keep going, keep wait, going. wait a minute, go back to the What else seven. is the same? We're going to get to it. Seven. You ain't got to bring that. For if, the, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been, been sought for the second. We don't. For finding fault with them, he said. For finding fault with them, who is them? The sinners. Who was under the first covenant? Right. Them, them were they who was under the first covenant. Which them, were who? Them were they. It was Israel, right? Right. Israelite. So right. So That's finding fault with Israel. Go ahead. He made a new covenant. For finding right. fault with them, he said, "Behold, the day has come," said the Most High, "when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel." And with the house of Judah. We're gonna make house a new Israel, covenant Israel. with the house of Israel. Hold up. And the house of Judah. I, I don't wanna hear, man. Did, did you hear that though? No. I heard that, but keep going. Read again for the brother. No, no, no. Read that but verse no, again. No, I'm saying like, finish. No, We're gonna get finish. to that part. Just Judah. listen. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the most high, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they, but they, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Most High. For this is the new covenant that I will make with the, the house, house of Israel. Israel. After those days, saith the Most High, I will put my laws in their minds, 
and I will write in write them in their hearts. I will make and I will be to them a, a power, and they shall be to me a people. And so the new covenant, instead of the Lord scribing the law in stone, He's gonna put it in our. It's gonna be in our spirit. So it's that, not. He's gonna write it in our mind, and He's gonna put it on the fleshly tables of our heart, in our inward part. So what does that mean? That means we're going to keep the law automatic. Right. We're not going to have to consult a Bible to say, well, what should we do in this situation? Uh, well, what, what about, he, he it's, it's going to be, be in us. No, yeah. in the kingdom, because we're not. not in not, the kingdom, right, the kingdom be, is established. Oh, right. I, Let, yeah, not, can I say the new covenant? He told me yeah. that. Now, hold on, hold on, bro. Okay. Hey, can you start at the top? Because this is, uh, this is Timothy. A king gotta look for himself. Timothy, man. but check it out. Timothy wrote this this uh epistle. Now to read the uh, eight, the eight verse, I believe. Well, find because it he was quoting, them. you know what he was quoting? You know what he was actually quoting? He was right. quoting the old testament. That's that right. Was the old testament that he was, was just he would know. No, no, he, he was, was quoting old, the old, old testament. testament. Meaning okay. what what he what he wrote in that epistle, in that letter, he was he was oh. referencing that oh. based off of the old testament. Ah. And I'm gonna prove it. Jeremiah. Come, come yeah, Jeremiah 8 and the 8 verse. No, Jeremiah 3. I mean, Hebrews 8 and the 8 verse. It's Hebrews 8 and 8. So when he said that, he, when he said he was going to come and do a new a new covenant, he was talking about the Old Testament, but he was speaking no, about the Old Testament. No, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. When the beginning it said, if he found fault with the first covenant, there will be no room to sought for another one. But he found fault with the people, Israel. The covenant was no, there was no fault with the covenant. Yeah. So basically they said in a nutshell, in the kingdom, he going to program us to keep the law. It's going to be first nature. That sound, I know, I know you broke it down right, but it sounds confusing. He was saying, if, if he's saying, basically what, what he's saying in the letter is, if there's something wrong with, with the new covenant, then, I mean with the old covenant, which is the first covenant, why we need a new covenant. The reason we needed the new covenant, or the, we need a new covenant, is because in this time right now, man, the Israelite man, man cannot follow the laws, keep the law perfect. That's why it gotta be a new covenant to make it to where we can follow the law perfect. That's why he gonna put the laws in our inward part, basically in our, he gonna put it in our mind. It's gonna be, for lack of better words, it's gonna be part of our, Genetic maker, the law, just is to keep the law. We gonna know how to keep the law. And that's what did, what did he do when he left, though. Now go Didn't back he to uh, Hebrew people, eight and eight. Like he was, go back to that, spirit? brother. Read. Cause you Didn't you he, all over the place, bro. But for finding fault with them, he said, "Behold, the day has come." Said the Most High. I'm saying Hebrews eight and eight. For finding fault with them. Started uh, If you read seven. one book. At a time, Started a, a, a six. Books to this book, I don't know which books. Well, well this for edification. See, I, I can see you're not listening, man, but this for edification.